Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing alright. So we got some info on hemp fiber board and there is the link if y'all want me to send it to you. I don't mind doing so, just leave me a comment. Um, so here we go. Uh, tell him, da -da -da -da, that's stuff we don't really need to read. <laughs> Hold on a second. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so what you're about to find on this page are 10 massive reasons why it's a good idea to start using hemp board. So this is based on hemp fiber board. <clears throat> Number one. What is hemp board? Hemp board or hemp board? <laughs> it's the same thing. Oh, I don't know who writes this sometimes. Anyway, let's continue on. It is a medium density fiber board made from the inner woody fibers of the hemp plant or the hemp herd or the shives or the stock. Uh, medium density fiber, fiber board, excuse me, also known as MDF, is normally made from ground up trees held together with resin, heat, and pressure. Number two, no trees are used to make hemp board. Awesomeness. So we'd like to hear. <clears throat> Hemp board can be used for a variety of projects because of its smooth surface and uniform consistency. It's offered in 4 by 8 foot sheets, which can vary in thickness from 1 quarter inch uh, to 1 inch. <clears throat> it's an ideal choice for shelving and molding projects. Hemp board is often used in place of plank wood, particle board, or medium density fiber board, possessing a unique decorative face along with a fine, even edge, and again, all the beautiful properties in regarding the environment and what it's good for. All right, let's continue on. Higher density versions of hemp board work well with computer uh, numerical control milling. Interesting. All right, so CNC to produce custom design parts or product. Its smooth surface and absorbability allows it to take well to painting, only needing a primer and two coats of paint to have an attractive finish. All right, that's cool. So, you know, you can paint with it and it's cool. All right, so regular wood products may require more sanding and additional co coats of paint to achieve the same impressions. All right, sweet. That's another extra little benefit there. Because the hemp fibers in their natural form are so porous, uh, water repellent agents are absorbed easily, providing extra protection against the elements compared to regular wood. <clears throat> Once treated, it will not warp and can be used frequently for bathroom and kitchen cabinets. Okay, that's good too. Or in higher humidity applications. All right. And since it is not made from wood, it is impervious to termites. All right, another great little benefit. You see, they just keep on coming with hemp, man. It's really, it's really quite beautiful. Um, also kind of ridiculous that more people aren't paying attention to it, but it's what it is. All right, so important notice. This product has been uh, discontinued until further notice. We apologize for any inconvenience and hope it will hope to offer it as soon as possible. You know, I have no idea why. My intuition is telling me how to do something, which is the legalization of hemp, but I don't know why. But anyway, it's okay because more businesses can um, perpetuate these type of products if they want to. So hemp board is environmentally friendly. Hemp is an annual plant which renews itself every year. <clears throat> Another great thing, as I've said, it is extremely fast growing crop, producing four times as much biomass as a forest over a 10 year period. Hemp leaves uh, the soil in excellent condition. It rejuvenates the soil, uh, succeeding crop, especially when weeds may otherwise be troublesome. Yeah, it's also just like naturally um, anti-weed. So just, just it, it be it what it is, just like perpetually repels uh, weeds. Number five, substituting hemp for wood products saves trees and prevents deforestation. It has been estimated that about half of the Earth's natural tropical forests have now been destroyed. They use the word cleared, but they've been destroyed. Uh, it's, it's horrible. Some scientists have, especially when hemp is here, is a completely fucking good alternative solution. So anyway, it's just... <clears throat> Some scientists have predicted that unless significant measures are taken on a worldwide basis by 2030, that's, what, seven years from now, almost, you know, we're getting close to the end of 2020, 90% of old growth forests will be destroyed. I mean, that is so fucking horrible, dude. Ugh. And with them, hundreds of thousands of irreplaceable species. <clears throat> I mean, the, the, ugh. anyway... Number six, no formaldehyde binders used. Good, that's, I mean, <laughs> the binder used for hemp board is an environmental non-formaldehyde binder which has proven to work well with hemp. Non-formaldehyde binders do not offer get, do not off gas and are safe for indoor use. Now I haven't looked into this and in all of the intricacies of the, the binder, but I mean, I like, I mean, not formaldehyde. I mean, I know and that's the shit that can get you high and stuff. I, I think it's got some toxic, um, aspects to it and then the off gas thing with the co2 and all that type of shit that's good because it's just not that co2 is bad but when there's too much of it it's bad just like if you drink too much water it will kill you all right so there are many hemp board applications 
Home builders, cabinet makers, and carpenters use hemp board for furniture, shelving, flooring, and molding. The wood is very versatile and is used for a number of applications. It is used often for doors because it insulates sound and heat very well. <clears throat> Taken in conjunction with its smooth surface and ability to take paint well, it is an ideal material for panels and walls. The wood is also very flexible in the type of treat mints that it can take such as nailing gluing screwing or st stapling it's also great for any place where you're prone to earthquakes because it's it's it's, it's flexible with hemp board uh when hemp board is used excuse me for cabinets and other woodworking projects it is very often covered in a veneer of laminate or real wood to disguise the mdf especially along edges that may be visible <clears throat> You can use hemp board around your home in a number of ways. If you are looking to build furniture, a doghouse, or another type of simple wood structure, hemp board is a great choice. And again, if you work that with, as I said, processing hemp the right way, making it stronger than steel, you can use it in conjunction with all different types of things, even load-bearing walls. So it has less susceptibility. It is less susceptible, excuse me, to insect infestation than wood, and is like and is less likely to swell or buckle, making it a great choice to use outdoors. Awesomeness. And it is very affordable. It is a, <clears throat> excuse me, and it is a very affordable alternative to solid wood. Number eight, <laughs> sorry. Hemp board also makes a great art material for painting. Uh, all right, oopsies, let's go back up. All right, you can use many different kinds of paint to create a look that is original and fun. You can also shape it since it is less dense than other fiberboard and wood. All right, and you can cut holes into it and sculpt it into any shape you desire. Then add a touch of color for something really special to put in your home. All right, good to know. I didn't know all that about the painting. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. here we go. Promotes local industry. So yeah, I mean, this is a uh, this company was made in America. So again, hemp we could easily start growing it here in America. So people who want to help rejuvenate America's economy in a good way or develop our own. Uh, <laughs> another economy separate from this one that's perpetuating its evil empire we can do this all here on american soil and as we become the example for it we can take these type of lessons that we've learned and teachings that we've learned and abilities to build that we've now get you know grown into and, and learned overseas to africa and places that really need help with uh just even being able to feed themselves um as well as other things too so hemp board is produced in the United States with American grown hemp. <clears throat> hemp board benefits farmers by allowing the agricultural industry to become the new source of forest products. Yeah, man. Areas of the world which lack forests will now be able to create their own timber products. Exactly what I've just been saying. Helping to stimulate the local economy, generating jobs and saving on transportation costs. Yes, man. And I've talked about how too the shipping and exporting of products across the ocean kills marine life. Not to mention all the CO2 emissions that go along with it also. So, I mean, it's, this really solves so many different problems. Additional important information about hemp. Hemp and medical or recreational cannabis are different strains of the cannabis species. Yes. Industrial hemp refers to the industrial use of the stock and seed and contains less than 0.3 THC percent. Well, marijuana, I think that's the legal standard. It has to be below that in order for it not to be considered THC or psychoactive. Um, while marijuana refers to the flowers of the cannabis plant, which are high in THC. And they get you high. The plant itself is easy to grow in temperate climates and requires little to no pesticides or herbicides. A hemp crop is usually harvested in 120 days after reaching a height of 10 to 15 feet. Yeah, they get tall, man. All right, hemp strong roots descend for three feet or more. And the hemp roots are what cause the apoptosis in malignant cells, which is a potentiality to help cure cancer and a bunch of other neurodegenerative diseases. The roots anchor and protect the soil from runoff, building and preserving topsoil and subsoil structures. <clears throat> Excuse me, similar to those of the forests. All right. Oh, is that it? Okay. Moreover, hemp does not exhaust the soil. Hemp plants shed their leaves all through the growing season, adding rich organic matter to the top soil and helping it retain moisture. Again, they re help rejuvenate the soil. So apparently it looks like some crops actually extract and kill the soil or some farming practices do this, whereas hemp is the exact opposite. It, it actually helps to rejuvenate and enrich in the soil, as well as also producing a crop of its own. All right, so a, a very brief history of hemp. Um, you know, I'll make another video because we're already... Oh, we'll just continue on. A very brief history of hemp. As the perimeter plant fiber, true hemp or cannabis sativa has served mankind for thousands of years. This versatile, ver venerable fiber has always been valued for its strength and durability. Materials made from hemp have been discovered in tombs dating back to 8,000... Excuse me, 8,000 BC. So we got over 10,000 years of using hemp. Crazy. Uh, the courageous men and women, that, that's another reason why, too, I get so frustrated with this infrastructure here because, like, the people in power know about hemp. They're choosing 
choosing to not speak about it or even, I mean, making it very difficult for us to even use it. It's only been very recently that it's been allowed to be used, and that's after this whole petro fucking industry has already taken over the, you know, whatever, whatever. All right, let's continue on. The courageous men and women that sailed the seas to come to America sailed on ships rigged with hemp. Hemp was grown extensively to colonial America by numerous farmers, including, as I've said, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. Uh, Betsy Ross sewed the first American flag with hemp. Boom. All right, so that's just a brief little history. So I think that's it. Um, yeah, that's it for now. All right, I love you guys. Y'all take care. Bye.